Hi, my name is Ty, and I'm going to be your instructor for this class. And this is one of the tools that we're going to use. It's called VoiceThread. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to use this uh, for special post uh, videos that I'm going to put up that you guys will critique. And at one point, you'll also be putting up your own videos that you'll choose. But we'll talk about that later. So right now, we're going to go to this page it's voicethread.com and you will have to register once you're here so simply fill out your name your email preferably your um, your school email and then a password that you'll remember once that's done you're registered and then you can log in. Oh, let me try that again. Here we go. And there we are, because I kept logging off and on. So this is the interface for it. And once we actually have it all up and running, and if you do have that little problem like it is, just hit refresh, and then that, that typically fixes it. And these are some examples of some student work that I've had uh, from one of uh, my other classes. And what I'm going to do is I will send you a link that you will have, and then you'll log in. And we're going to choose the Picard video. When you click on this, invade our space. it'll actually and play this back. video. You'll hear the sound, you'll see the animation, and, we fall back. Not again. and you'll notice it has the a little timeline on the, yeah. the bottom. This far, no farther! And I will make them pay for what they've done! Now, after you've seen the video at least once, then you can go back and you can comment on it. And the great thing about this program is it allows you to do it in a few different ways and have a nice forum for it. You'll notice there's a little plus right down here. When I click on this, it gives me all the different options of how I can give feedback. If I'm viewing this on my phone or a tablet or in public and I don't want to verbally say what my comments are, I can actually just click here and then it will give me a text box that I can type in whatever short feedback that I want to put in. Uh, you can use your phone to phone in. I haven't really used that feature because I've never really had to. Uh, what I do like using besides the, the text box is the microphone. So when you click on this, the excellent thing about this is that I could be playing this and I can play it and pause it at any time and it will keep track of when I'm playing it and pausing it and I'm making a comment. So in other words, if I were to say make a comment and click on the microphone and it's going to ask a few things. While you're recording you can draw on the screen and use the video controls highlighted below to pause or play, well pause and play or to move to any part of the video. And so this is how I'd scrub, grabbing this little guy, moving it back and forth. This is of course how I'd play or stop. And while it's recording, I'd be able to draw and point to different areas and make little circles so I could go, okay, got it. And then it will ask, do I uh, want it, um, my computer to allow it to have access to my camera and my microphone? And the camera is because the fact one of those options is I could actually do a setup. So there's a little mini uh, version of me uh, in a corner. And that's um, pulling from my webcam. But I'm just going to say allow because I do need to use the microphone. And then it gives me this nice little startup screen. And then I could just hit uh, play right here. 
We invade our space and we fall back. They simulate entire world. And say, oh wow, I really. Let me pause that and I could go back here and say, wow, you know what? I really like this hand position and uh, I like, you know, I could actually draw around different areas or point to them. You see, they slowly fade out and then I could just start oh, playing God. again. And we fall back. Not again. And give whatever verbal Don't notation with the yeah. cues. This far, no farther! I will make them pay for what they've done. They invade our space. And I could just stop it and say, you know what? That was it. Um, I liked certain things. This was this. And give feedback on, oh, the motion of his hand was more realistic. But right here, his fingers, maybe they should be touching the ground, touching the table. And then I'd hit stop recording. And then I could just hit... Uh, play right here, and here they I can hear myself space. recording. And we fall back. And if I like all that, then I would just hit save, and that's how you would save this in. Once that's done, anytime somebody makes a comment, they, it's going to show up on the side, which is really nice. And then you could just click immediately to it, and then here. And then I could just notation. hit. Uh, play right here. They invade our space, and we fall back. And it'll go through and play through it, and um, this is all the time right here that it's basically that I was talking and how it actually lined it up for me. So, this is how you would use this program. Once you're all done, you can just click on this little icon right up at the top, the little X. Boop. And then you, it gets you out of that window of just uh, giving feedback to this one uh, little movie. But we're going to be focusing on this one. And let me know if you have any questions whatsoever.